Hello, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE here for CUBE Conversation with Devon Reed, Senior Director of Apex Offer Product Management Dell Technologies. Devon, great to see you. Uh, congratulations on Apex, on the momentum and the big news. Yeah, thank you for having me here, John. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. And I can't wait to talk to you about this stuff. So we chatted last Dell Technologies World about Apex in, in great length. Um, first, give an update on what's the new news and two, where's it come from since Dell Tech, Tech World? What's, what's the big update on the product and the news you're launching today? Yeah, so it's been a, it's been a fantastic journey here, John. And um, you know, since Dell Technologies World, we've learned a ton from our customers and the reception has been extremely positive. We're seeing a ton of interest from our customers. We're building demand um, and we're learning a lot, but I think if we boil it down to what we're, we're really learning here is that customers are living in a cloud first world. And what that means is that customers want to move uh, you know, to the public cloud because the public cloud brings simplicity, agility, the ability to pay for only what they use and they don't need to manage their infrastructure. However, what we're hearing from our customers as well is that they're um, a little hesitant to move all of their workloads to the public cloud because there are certain performance requirements, latency requirements and security requirements that are uh, still um, held from on-prem infrastructure vendors and that's that's the beauty of Apex to bring that the the simplicity of the public cloud and the the security and the performance of the private cloud in one with Apex. You know, I want to get your thoughts real quick before I move on to the, the news because this comes up a lot in conversations. In fact, I just had uh, a conversation this morning on camera and also off camera around virtualization of data, right? So and how on premises the bare metal growth is there, right? So you're starting to see from a performance standpoint, I mean, security, we get that. There's a lot of on-premises reasons why to be on-premises for the security reasons. But performance, you brought that up. Talk more about that real quick, because I think this is really becoming quite more traction than people thought. There's a performance gain on-premise with some of the new tech. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, exactly. I think that's a, it's a great call out, John. And especially as you get into the, some of these new applications where the computation needs to be directly next to uh, the data in which it's processing. Latency and performance is extremely important. We hear that day in and day out from our customers. And that's why it's really, it's really important to focus on not only on public cloud environments, but on-premise infrastructure. And that's what Apex really, really helps customers um, bridge that, bridge that gap. Awesome, for the folks watching, there's a great interview, search his name, Devon's name, and, and look at last year's announcement. We covered it in, in detail with Apex, so some great content there, go check that out. Uh, I got to ask about the news. You had some new announcements at VMworld earlier today. What can you tell us about the news? Yeah, yeah, we did, John. This is, this is an amazing year for Dell at VMworld in general. Um, there's a ton of announcements that have come out with collaboration with VMware and Dell, but for Apex specifically, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about, is that we're introducing a new offer to the Apex portfolio. And this offer we call Apex Cloud Services with VMware Cloud. And what this really is, is it's a full infrastructure as a service stack and it's utilizing Dell's uh, hyperconverged infrastructure. So it's integrated storage, network and compute. And we combine that with um, the virtualization stack from uh, VMware, the virtualization stack and the services. It's a solution that's managed by Dell. It's designed for six nines of availability. And again, going back to what customers are asking for, it allow customers the performance, the security, and it also provides those consistent operations across their multi-cloud environments. What's the driver behind the customer requirements on this? Is there a specific use case that jumps out off the page on, on the managed service? Could you share why the traction? Yeah, you know, um, this space is growing really rapidly 
and it's a new space. And as we talk to more and more customers, we learn there's a ton of different use cases, a ton of different deployments that are really coming to the forefront. But if I really boil it down, there are a few that are, are kind of uh, rising to the top here. And I think first and foremost, we see a lot of uh, deployments in VDI. And really the driver behind that is some of those, those environments are complex. And what the, the customers are trying to do is really offload those IT administrative tasks and have uh, companies like Dell manage it. And that's what we're doing for them. Another one is, um, you know, really around that latency and, latency and security, really trying to drive applications to not suffer from, you know, that latency and, and security kind of benefits. Now, um, what we've seen is we have a lot of interest from very large enterprises that actually want to build and modernize their data centers. So they're either consolidating their data centers or they're trying to move to a fully automated uh, hybrid cloud situation, right? And I'm talking very large deployments of uh, VMware based um, private cloud uh, capabilities. And I, I'd say one other place that we're seeing a lot of interest in these sort of capabilities is large distributed kind of edge um, use cases. So think, um, you know, think use cases where you have um, hundreds of remote office locations or thousands of retail locations that is very difficult for customers to manage and we take that burden away from our customers. Uh, thanks for uh, laying out the customer scenarios yeah, yeah. and the use case, good stuff. I got to ask you about the solution now. It appears that it was jointly developed with VMware, is that right? And if so, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, yeah, exactly, John. This is, this is amazing. The amount of collaboration that has gone into this um, solution with VMware is incredible. And really it's based on customer feedback. And we saw, you know, based on this feedback, we saw a real need to, to basically take the best of VMware software and their services capabilities and our, you know, Dell's world leading infrastructure capabilities and really combine it with the simplicity and agility that Apex, Apex provides. So we've been working with VMware very tightly uh, over the past year and more to really develop the solution. It's been a great journey, been spending a ton of time with the VMware team building this. And, um, you know, customers really love what VMware Cloud enables and customers love Apex. So it's a really powerful combo. And we think it's, it's really the next uh, kind of rocket ship for, you know, the combined companies here. Yeah, and I think the VDI piece in these use cases you mentioned only get more relevant and complex at the same time with the whole shifting in the working environments. You know, the work from home, the future of work, you know, you have the blurring of the lines between private, you know, home versus corporate network. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we thought it was hard before, it's going to get even more complicated. So the pressure's on to abstract away the complexity. So, so yeah, totally sure. relevant. Yeah, uh, yeah and, and, and demand for these kinds of solutions we're seeing you know, the interest is is doubling, uh, it seems like almost every six months, you know, there's a lot more interest, especially as we progress through this pandemic and, the, and uh, this environment that we're living in here, so. Okay, so I got to ask you, going forward again, great progress from our last time we chatted at Dell Technology World last year, um, 2021. Um, what's ahead for Dell and the VMware partnership? Tell us more, how does that look? Um, Extending is what's the trajectory look like? Can you share any specifics? What can we expect? What's the headroom? What should customers expect? Yeah, yeah. You know, we get that question a lot, John. And really, um, you know, nothing is really. Although we are going to be separating as as different entities, you know, the collaboration and the the level of um, joint development that we have between the two companies uh, couldn't be stronger now. And we don't, we do not expect that to change. And we're just getting started on this thing and there's a lot more to come for sure. What's the biggest thing that you, you're excited about? Obviously Apex has been a good uh, trajectory. The progress has been great. The market's in your favor. 
what's what's exciting for you right now? Where do you see the action? Um, you know, where's where's the fun for you in this? What's the, what's uh, what's your take? You know, it always for me the fun always comes down to customers and understanding what the customers want, understanding what the solution, where the solution works, where the solution doesn't work. Really working with our customers to really understand their problems and really try to work. So that's where I I get my energy uh, in this whole thing. And to see the see the the pipeline grow and the sales coming in, that's just it's really exciting for me. You know, as we're we're kind of embarking on this new as a service uh, world for the for the multi cloud world, it's it's just it's fantastic, John. You know, the one click buy as you go consumption based. This is the trend and infrastructure that's as code, which is a cloud ethos, and you exactly. mentioned the on premises with security and now performance. It seems like we're seeing the second wave of virtualization kick in on premises where now that you're in a cloud operating model from storage, compute, networking, kind of almost a, a reboot, almost a reset or an extension or a relife. It seems like it's another second life of, 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 of innovation. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, John. And you know, from a from a vision perspective, we're just we're just starting to, uh, you know, we're just starting out there. And we, you know, if we think about the power uh, and the breadth of the portfolio that Dell has, it is unmatched in the industry. So first and foremost, you know, there's a lot more from a from a solution perspective that we can bring to the fore. So I think that's that's really exciting. I like the position that we have there. And in terms of collaboration with VMware, we're just getting started there too. And uh, I spend uh, almost uh, half of my day with VMware employees, which is incredible uh, amount of collaboration. And there's so much more that we've talked about in our roadmap uh, to really build out this vision when you start thinking about not just virtualization, but you start to talk about um, you know, these, these new operating environments, including Kubernetes and Tanzu capabilities. And, um, you know, how do you, how do you hit different uh, use cases with um, not only hyper-converged hyper -converged infrastructure, but different types of infrastructure as well. And then you start to span uh, not only the prem, but the co-location facilities and, and the edge, and you bring this all together under the Apex console and, and I like our future. Yeah, console based provisioning, easy. Uh, congratulations on the big news, Apex Cloud Services with VMware Cloud. Um, for the folks watching that's going to come in and maybe adopt the solution, the managed service, what can they expect from Dell? Uh, what you can expect is a very simple experience. So uh, everything starts and ends with what we call our Apex console. So a customer, from the time they, they want to learn about our services to um, you know getting quotes on them to actually transacting the uh, the service um, to operating the infrastructure from that and then we provide a full set of uh, services under the cover where a customer doesn't need to worry about the actual infrastructure management and we provide customer success managers for every account so we we are there with you. Uh, along every step of the journey to, to make this as seamless and easy as possible. So it's a fantastic uh, experience for our customers. And that's that's one of the things that they really love about the, the Apex is that, um, you know, kind of white glove service that we're providing. Devin, great to see you. Devin Reed, Senior Director of Dell Apex Offer Product Management. He's over nice the product, great to see you. And congratulations on your success. Apex Cloud Services with VMware Clouds. The big news here at VMworld, with Dell Technologies. I'm John Furrier, Cube Conversation, breaking it down, bringing the news to you. Thanks for watching.